ChatGPT has taken the world by storm, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it to take the biggest pain out of making a website. We're going to go from this raw template that you see right here to a fully completed website effortlessly in five minutes. All of the headings, the subheadings, the calls to action in the button, the services, the service descriptions, everything that you see, including this logo. I'm not going to cover this logo in this video. I also generated that in five minutes. I'm going to show you exactly how I did this and it's going to work for any website that you want to create. Now I chose a dog groomer website because we just brought home our second dog. His name is Mochi and he's only two months old. And I got to say, I'm quite concerned with the new grooming bill because both both of these dogs are poodles and they need a haircut every seven weeks. Now the three main hurdles to having a professional website are the design itself, the images, and the words. The design problem can easily be solved with high quality templates that are readily available. Same goes for images. Those templates include images, but there are many online resources for free images, but words are another story. And for most of us, this is the biggest hurdle with making a website. Now, the good news is AI can solve the words problem, but only if you know exactly how to command the AI. And that is where I come in. I have cracked the code to using AI to write the perfect website copy. And if you give some love to that like button right now, I'll freely share it with you. So let's get started. Now the trick with AI boils down to the command that you give it. So here is the command template and I'm going to show you exactly how I customized it. And then let's plug it into the AI. So right here is the command. Give me the broad outline for a website for and then right here is where you're going to type in your business name or the business name for the website, as well as a little bit of details. Now, if it's a common business type, the AI is already going to know details about the business. There are also some tricks that you can do here with this. If the AI probably doesn't know about your business, but knows about one of your competitors, but I'll cover that some other time. Now here's the second part of the command. You put the word include and you have to list out the sections on each page and tell the AI exactly what you need. It understands concepts such as a heading, a subheading, services section, how many services, add some descriptions. So you need to just write this out. And then here is the magic last piece of the command right here. Provide content for each one of these that I can copy and paste into a website. Now, right here is the command fully filled out that I put into chat GPT and I'll just read it and you can see how simple this is. Give me a broad outline for a website for a mobile dog grooming business named Happy Paws. See how I put the name of the business in there that saves some time. Include a hero title, tagline, call to action button, section for details about the services, including a section title and subtitle, and info on four of our services. Now, you could take this a little further if you wanted to and put in the titles of these services, and then it will spit out the description for you. And then I put a final call to action, title, text, and button. So I'm gonna put this in my clipboard and let's go see what the AI will give us in real time. Now, the funniest thing about ChatGPT is it's always down. Now, there's lots of AI writing services out there. I'm gonna use SureWriter, which is coming out very very soon. You absolutely don't have to use SureWriter for this, but there's definitely some advantages to using it. So I created a new document in SureWriter, and this is actually one of the things you don't get in ChatGPT is the ability to, to manipulate the text. It's okay though, you can copy and paste it into a document and edit it there. So here is exactly what I set up. So I put the title of the document. Now, the reason this is grayed out like that is because I didn't want to use this in the command that went back to the AI. 
If I did want to use the title, I could just click the little eyedropper there and we'll leave it off. And then right here, I put a little bit of context in, write a website copy for a dog groomer website. Now, if I wanted to put in keywords, I could put them in here and the AI writer would use those inside of the copy itself. Next, we have this section here for tone. And this is kind of like some special sauce that you could do in SureWriter, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do this in ChatGPT. So tone is, if I wanted it to be professional or an expert, or you can also put someone that you know of and the way that they speak, someone that the AI would know of. So for example, anyone that is a public figure, if you want to have it write as if Elon Musk from Tesla was writing this, I could write here, Elon Musk from Tesla. Now I put in Donald Miller from StoryBrand because I like the way that he speaks and he talks a lot about website copy and it's very clear and concise. So I put Donald Miller from StoryBrand. Now, if you're running this command, what you would want to type in the beginning is act as, and then who you want it to act as, or in the tone of, or in the voice of, you would want to include that with the command that you send over to ChatGPT. And then here is the exact output that was from running that command. And this is the exact output that I used inside of the website. With SureWriter, you click this icon here, it pulls up the command box and you can paste in your command and click on write for me and then it just spits it out. But let's do this whole thing from scratch so you can see it with your own eyes. So I'll go right here where it says create new. I'll choose write your own. I'm gonna choose write from scratch. One of the nice things with SureWriter is it remembers everything you put in, so you never have to type the same thing over again. You can see I have this icon right here, and I can see the, the things that I have entered in in this screen before. So I'll do the same, Happy Paws website, but let's just put YouTube because I'm doing it for this YouTube video. The same goes for the content brief. It remembers what I've put in before. So I'll go ahead and choose, I might as well just choose the same one uh, right here, right? The website copy for a dog groomer's website. I can toggle this on if I wanted to put in my keywords. So if you've already put those together through some keyword research tool, you can go ahead and pop those in there and I'm gonna click on start writing. Next, I'm gonna change the tone right here. Let's change the tone to that Elon Musk example. This might produce some unexpected results, but let's go ahead and put that in. Next, I'm going to go into the command box. I can always pull it up right here and I can pretty much just paste in what I already wrote out. And it's all right there. And then I'll click on write for me. And here you can see it is writing for me in the voice of Elon Musk. And you can see the output is in a copy and paste format. So I can literally just highlight, copy it and paste it right into my website. You can see these red underlines are because Grammarly's integrated. I can just uh, toggle Grammarly off and it's easier to see. And there's a little formatting cleanup to do down here uh, to make this look perfectly. This is a full editor. So if you wanted to make this prettier, you can highlight and bold things. You can even highlight and run AI commands right off of it. And there's a full suite of editing options inside here. I will say that doing this gets you about probably 85 to 90% of the way when I went from this to this, I had to change a word here or there. It wasn't a major change or major effort, especially when you consider that the vast majority of the work is done here. Now, if I wanted to do this chat GPT style, there's also Ensure Writer, an assistant just like chat GPT, where I could have popped it in uh, right here if I wanted to. Now, if you want access to the master list of commands to create the perfect website copy, I'm only sharing it with the subscribers of my personal newsletter, The Loop. The link's gonna be in the video description down below, and I'll be sending that out as soon as it's ready. I'm breaking down all of the core parts of a website into the text so you can easily assemble the perfect command to get the 
output that you're after. The link is in the video description below. And keep a lookout on the channel for a video on exactly how I made that logo. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.